This is the South Street Seaport area. And you can see even here, like it has South Street Seaport. And uh, it's a very quaint area. And in the 60s, they tried to start to rehabilitate the New York City area. And so part of the rehabilitation was to try to bring people back into the city. And one of the ways to do that was to create this uh, seaport area as a destination point. And you can see here, Lower Manhattan, like in the canyons on Water Street, all the different buildings that are down here. And uh, it's a really nice location. This, for example, used to be an office building. They converted this into condos. And so, believe it or not, it's all condos. And there's a lot of other buildings down here that have been converted into condos. So it's become much more of a residential area to be down here. And this is after, many years after they built the South Street Seaport. Uh, South Street Seaport, as I mentioned, was a way for them to bring people back into the city to encourage merchants to be back into the city. So they also have many different music events down here. And, um, but then in the 80s and 90s and in the 2000s, when more and more of the financial centers were moving outside of New York, in a sense, what they wanted to do, the reason why they were moving outside of New York was because they wanted to make sure they didn't have everything in one area. And so what that ended up resulting in is a lot of extra office space in the downtown area. So that was used for other purposes and it was repurposed by people moving into the downtown area. But you can see here how uh, they have tried to do a very good job in this uh, South Street Seaport area. Now this is actually one big outdoor mall owned by the Rouse Corporation. And so their incentive is to encourage people to spend time down here. And as you see, they've, they've tried to create like a music venue. So they have live music on the weekends. So you can see here the live music. And uh, people coming around here. And, um, and then all these different offices and different stores around here. So it's like one big outdoor mall. And you can see Abercrombie & Fitch, that's here. There are known uh, uh, many other places. Super Dry, which is a very big Japanese store, is down here too. So we're just taking a little view of the South Street Seaport area, just so people can have a better idea of what it's like. And you can see how they've made it very accommodating for people just to, uh, to be around here. Just all these are people just enjoying the environment, just enjoying like the DJ and the other live music that you see down here. Of course, it's not just one band, it's usually a number of bands at one time, uh, excuse me, in a row. Uh, but this way people don't get tired of it. You can see here, like more of the way like uh, they've organized it. And, uh, see down here too, like there's a whole nother street for people just to walk down. And we're going to take a look at uh, where the big ships are, because what they've tried to do in New York was to have a lot of big ships uh, in the area, and uh, old ships from 150, 200 years ago. Now the problem is that they're doing is they're, they're renovating the downtown area right now. So they're going to actually have to move the big ships somewhere else. And the problem is uh, they don't know where they're going to move the big ships. Because big, having big ships is great. And uh, the problem is the cost of maintaining the big ships. And that's the dilemma that the South Street Seaport is facing because it's, uh, it's expensive to maintain the ships, to man them, to, to repair them. And uh, it's just not in the budget right now for the South Street Seaport area. And in addition to that, they're going to be putting up a very lar large tower that's going to be mixed use between condos, retail, uh, and uh, other uses. So that's the big plan for the downtown area in the South Street Seaport. But that precludes having a lot of these big ships around here because they, are, they want to reposition the area. We're going to be taking a look at that and then heading north so we can have everyone take a look at how, how it looks for people. We're going to hurry up and cross the street here because as you see, the traffic and people really don't wait for anyone. 
we'll take a look right back to where we came. And it was just so that people can see what it looks like from the other side. You can see how everything is here. All the buildings are here. You know, it's very nice seeing this. And I think that works out very well. And this is Pier 17. See, as it says, currently closed for redevelopment. And, uh, and that's usually, this is usually a very popular place. All this, this whole building here is always populated by people. What we're doing is we're just gonna take a look now at the old, at the ships and the space that's used for the ships, which is kind of like a, a large park and a promenade. But it's very nice to be able to see that. And um, this is a very popular for people to come down because there's the Circle Line cruises and just the people just visiting and seeing what everything is like. So as you see from the name, the Peking. And here we go. It's just a beautiful ship. But as I said, one of the problems with this ship is the cost of maintaining. And the owners of uh, Pier 17, Pier 16, and the South Street Seaport area just uh, don't want to have the expense of maintaining that. So from their perspective, it's better to not do that. And here, we'll take a, just a little side view. Here we have on the pier, a trapeze school. So people are actually learning in this beautiful outdoor environment how to actually do the trapeze. So we'll take an example of the people here. So here we have one of our trapeze artists in the South Street Seaport area learning how to be a trapeze artist. Good for her. I would be scared to death to do this. But this is just on the side to see how this works. I mean, can you imagine trying to do this? A lot of people would be really frightened of doing this. But some people are really good. And here we have other people who are doing the trapeze. Trapeze school, of course, as it says. You know, but there's a lot of daring people here. But as, as we were originally looking, this is the Peking ship that, uh, you know, is uh, one of the ships of the South Street Seaport Museum. And uh, very well maintained for being such an old ship. And it's like these ships actually became out of date when they started using steam in various ships and sails became unnecessary. And then uh, coal and steam became outmoded in the 1870s when a lot of ships started using oil and because that proved to be much more efficient for a lot of the people, for a lot of the ship owners. And uh, that's when, as the uh, ships started doing that, uh, it became less important to have the coal around. Now in the distance what we're seeing is the Brooklyn Heights area and that's very popular for a lot of people. The person that runs the New York City school system for example has a house that overlooks the water and it's like very clear to, uh, to see that. It's a very clear uh, view from the Brooklyn Heights area to Manhattan. You can see here how beautiful it is looking around here looking at the boat and the other boats. So we'll just take a look at the, the water and see how it is. And you can see these are the two ships that they're asking to be moved. The other ship doesn't seem to be as well maintained as the Peking. And uh, maybe that could be one of the reasons why they are seeking to move it because it's, uh, it's not as well maintained. So there we go. There's some of the other boats. There. That's that. And that's, again, Brooklyn Heights in the distance. And we'll take a look back and see everything that's there. And that's the, the tall stainless steel encased building. And that's the South Street Seaport area that we're looking at, you know, in the distance. And this is on Pier 16 and Pier 17, where the old ships are chance for people to see what the old ships look like and just to tour the old ships too. 
And you can see a like, nice little promenade there where they have people kind of enjoying the outdoor.